These two plays in particular, Twelfth Night and As You Like It, really lend themselves to that kind of lyrical expression. The language is so beautiful, and we got really excited by some of the composers that we were talking to, like Rindy Eckert and Sam Meisner. I looked at my body of instruments and picked out uh, a mandolin, a ukulele, both a banjo ukulele and a traditional ukulele. So they're not exactly period, but they do kind of answer to a more local musical life, as if the music is coming from that society. I have a beautiful red accordion, which is um, uh, one of my most prized and oldest instruments. And Tim specifically asked for that particular instrument uh, when we first talked. There have been a lot of composers who have tackled these texts. You're not looking to uh, outdo anybody with anything. You're looking for your particular soulful way in. What I think of is very simple and, and beautiful, and, and, and so it honors the depth of the text. So once I got here, I wrote the songs at home and um, sent recordings to Tim and Carolyn, and, and then once I got here, when we got into rehearsal, it was basically figuring out, okay, you play guitar, you play, you, oh, you play bass, great. We have a bass. So I've basically been ar arranging it in rehearsal, um, kind of drawing on what strengths people have that I didn't know about, or um, adding harmonies. Uh, th that's been a, a lot of fun, is hearing the cast kind of embody the songs. And she's roughly setting it in the 1950s, 60s, mid-century modern. Um, not really specific, but that general time period in America. Uh, I don't want it to be one genre or the other. That time in American music um, was very much a mixture of blues and uh, rock and roll was just starting, um, but the difference between folk and blues and country wasn't, there wasn't much of a difference. It was kind of all intermixed. I would hope that when we hear this music, they don't think, their first thought isn't, oh, this is Shakespeare with modern music put to it. Um, my goal was to make it feel seamless, that this is a, a song that we could have been written, uh, you know, today. Uh, and it was. <laughs> yeah, and in fact it was.